Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2011 Ford F-150 FX4 in the silver metallic color. This four-wheel drive, four-door, five-passenger super crew pickup truck comes equipped with a 3.5 liter six-cylinder EcoBoost engine mounted to an automatic transmission. Starting out front with some of the notable exterior features, you got that nice boxy front end here. The great looking headlamps just below here you've also got the fog lamps for some additional style and utility and underneath there you do have the front recovery hooks as well as you come around to the side of the vehicle you'll find the massive six spoke 20 inch alloy rims that the vehicle currently rides on and those are wrapped in the bf goodrich all-terrain tires absolutely ready to tackle any and all terrain with lots and lots of tread as you can see as we continue down the truck you've got the fx4 badging and if we look towards the bottom, you'll find the nice side steps, making it nice and easy to get in and out of this truck. In back here, you've also got tinted windows for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo. And that tint continues in the back window as well. And you'll also notice you've got the rain deflectors up top here, which is a nice added bonus to keep the rain off the windows. In back here, you'll find the FX4 off-road badging. And as we head towards the back here, you'll find the F-150 badging. And up top here, you do have the hard tonneau cover that's the forward custom accessories tonneau cover and underneath here of course this truck does have a hitch so it's ready to tow and underneath there you've also got the spare tire in case you ever get a flat if you're looking for a truck that's absolutely ready for work or for play you found it in this f-150 so let's go ahead and hop inside and get started with the interior features hopping inside this rugged pickup truck is nice and easy thanks to the remote keyless entry simply hit the unlock button on the key fob and you'll be inside you also notice this truck does come equipped with short range remote start which is a fantastic feature you can fire it up and warm it up in the winter before you even hop inside as we check out the door handle here you'll also notice the number pads so you've got a different way of entering the truck if you don't have the keys on you as well inside you're good with the premium black leather seating here very nice design to the seat very comfortable as well and just below the seat, you'll also find the power adjustable seat controls, which includes your power adjustable lumbar support. And you'll also notice you've got the memory settings for your driver's seat here, so you can easily switch between seat settings when you're switching drivers. Take a look in the footwell there. You've got the nice F-150 all-weather mats, and those are nice and easy to clean, regardless of how dirty or wet they get. So let's go ahead and hop inside and get started with all the bells and whistles. The features inside this F-150 start over here on the driver's side door panel with the controls for your power mirrors and just below you'll find the controls for the power windows and locks. And as you would expect, both of your front windows are automatic. Underneath you've got lots of extra storage as well as one of the speakers from your Sony sound system which sounds absolutely phenomenal. Just to the right here you'll find the controls for your headlights and as you can see this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights which is a great set it and forget it feature. And if you're looking to activate the fog lamps you simply pull back on the knob. Below that, you'll find the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster. And if you take a look over at the steering column here, you'll find the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheels. You can get it in the perfect position. And you've also got power adjustable pedals. So you can bring your pedals forward and back if the seat adjustments are not enough, which is a very nice feature. If we back up and take a look at the steering wheel here, you've got a very nice leather wrapped four spoke steering wheel. And over on the left hand side, you've got the buttons to navigate the screen in the center of the gauge cluster. So we'll go ahead and take a look up there in just a moment. You also find the buttons for your cruise control system, which is great for those highway drives. And over on the right hand side here, you've got your steering wheel mounted audio controls, which includes your volume rocker, track selector buttons, your audio mode button, voice recognition button, and your Bluetooth hands free calling button. So if we go and take a look up in the gauge cluster there, you can see the bottom left is your odometer and you can see that this vehicle currently has 149,232 kilometers on it. In this very first screen here, you've got your transmission temperature gauge. Next, you've got your two different trips here. So you can track lots of different information, which includes your trip time, total fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, and your trip distance. And you've also got two different trips there, so you can track those independently. Next, you've got your fuel economy screen, so you can check your instant fuel economy as well as your average. You've also got the range there, and you've also got your fuel economy history from the last five minutes. Next, you've got your truck apps, which includes your off-road screen, so you can check the angle that your truck is at if you're on some difficult terrain. And you've also got the trailer screen here if you're in tow or haul mode. Next, you've got these settings here, which includes your driver assist, so you've got your rear view camera, trailer brake mode, and your trailer sway control. Next, you've got lots of different options in the vehicle screen here. So you can go through and customize those to your preferences. You've also got the language units, and if you want to reset that to the factory settings, you can do so at the bottom there. Finally, you've got some 
information in this additional screen here, which gives you your my key information. And you've also got the system check here, so you can check your oil life, your doors, brakes, trailer brake control, and your range. If we go ahead and take a look towards the center of the dash here, you'll find the little info screen up top, which gives you your audio system, as well as your climate settings, the exterior temperature, and a little compass as well. Below that, you'll find the button to toggle your traction control, as well as your hazard lights, and you've also got the passenger airbag warning there. Below that, you'll find your audio unit, and in terms of your audio options, you do have your standard AM, FM radio, you've also got a CD player, USB and auxiliary inputs, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM radio, so you can be sure that you can listen to your own audio regardless of the type of device that you have. Just to the left here, you'll find the drive mode selector, so you can easily switch between two-wheel high, four-wheel high, and four-wheel low. And at the bottom here, you've got your trailer brake controls, including your gain and release. If you take a look towards the center of the dash again, you'll find your climate controls, and this is a dual zone climate control vehicle, so you can adjust the temperature independently for the driver and the passenger. And as an added bonus here, you do have the auto function, so you can let the vehicle adjust the fan speed, heat, and placement to get it to your desired temperature. You'll also find the two-stage heated seats here for both front passengers, which is a fantastic feature for the winter. Below that, you've got a 12-volt outlet to keep the devices charged up, as well as the USB and auxiliary input that I mentioned earlier. As we continue down here, you've got lots of storage in the center here, as well as, of course, your shifter. And on the side here, if you do want to manually shift the truck, you can do so with the buttons here. And you've also got the tow and haul mode button there as well. You'll also find a couple of cup holders here, and then, of course, you've got your nice padded armrest in the center, and that opens up to reveal your center console with lots of room inside, including a nice little tray here. You've got some coin slots along the side, and you can also slide that to access the main compartment there. And up top, you'll find a cell phone holder, though I doubt that uh, phones these days would fit in that holder. And you've also got the MP3 player slot there, and some pen slots up top. Over in the passenger side footwell, you've got the same great F-150 all-weather mats, and then you've got your glove box with lots of room inside. Over on the passenger side door panel, you'll find the same great design that we found on the driver's side, as well as, of course, the controls for the power locks and the passenger side window. Taking a look up top, you'll find an auto-dimming rear mirror, so that'll keep your mirror nice and dim automatically without you having to flip it down at nighttime. And if you put this truck into reverse, you'll also see the backup camera pop right up, which is a really handy feature to have in a truck of this size. If you take a look up top here, you'll also find a couple of interior lights, as well as the controls for your sunroof which is a fantastic feature to have in the summer. You can let in lots of light and you can open it up and let in lots of airflow as well. So that concludes the features up front. Let's go ahead and hop in back and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this truck, you've got more of the same luxurious black leather seats that extend all the way across the rear bench seat. Back here, you've also got tons and tons of legroom for the rear passengers as well as the same great all-weather mat. But even if these front seats are pushed all the way back, you've still got lots and lots of legroom. If we hop inside here, you'll find a couple of handy storage pockets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat, as well as a couple of cup holders in the back of the center console here, a couple of climate vents to keep the rear passengers comfortable, and to keep the devices charged up, you've also got an AC outlet and a 12-volt outlet. These rear seats do fold up in a 60-40 split. All you have to do is grab underneath the seat there, fold it up nice and easily. And on the other side there, you do have the Sony amplifier for your sound system there. So a little bit less cargo room under that seat, but as you can see, lots and lots of cargo room here. And you've got an extra little storage compartment underneath there. Folding the seat down again is nice and easy. Simply grab the latch here and that'll fold right down. If we go and take a look towards the rear door panels here, you've got the same great design that we found in the front, as well as, of course, the switch for the rear windows, a little bit of storage, and a cup holder underneath. That concludes this short video walk around, but this rugged pickup truck will not last long on our lot, so make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota, located at 1200 Leith Head Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.